Hello and congratulations on your purchase from the range of exciting, modern Eurogem steam cleaners. Appliances from the Eurogem range of world's best cleaning products will not only save you time and money, create a healthier home and produce better cleaning results, they will also give you the satisfaction of knowing you are no longer contributing to the chemical degradation of this wonderful planet we share. By now you would have read the user's manual and please have it on hand for reference as we go through the various applications and uses of the SC4000 and take particular notice of the safety precautions. Prior to starting though, it is important to reiterate a basic principle of steam cleaning. Steam is used to melt and break down the grease and oils that bind dirt and stains onto or into surfaces. The intense pressure then blows everything away. Therefore, as you see, this is not an abrasive method of cleaning. In fact, heavy rubbing will only cause the brushes to break down in a very short time. How fast you can clean is totally dependent on the amount of buildup of dirt. The larger the buildup, the slower you go, allowing the heat to soften the soiling. Advice on particularly stubborn staining is given in the specialty cleaning section. Now let's get the machine started. First step is to fill the boiler with water keeping in mind a golden rule of steam cleaners. Never put anything in the boiler except pure water. Distilled or demineralized is recommended. The only exception to this rule is when we descale the appliance, which I will cover later. Remember to never leave boiler caps off for long periods as bugs or foreign material can cause damage to the boiler. The SC4000 has a pressure cap direct to the boiler at the rear top of the appliance. Remove this cap by pushing down and turning counterclockwise and fill with water. Be careful to leave a space in the boiler for steam buildup. The pressure cap must not be opened whilst pressurized or hot. If the machine has been used, turn off and make sure the boiler is depressurized before opening. To depressurize the SC4000, turn off the main power switch and with the accessory switch on, press the steam trigger to release the pressure. When refilling a hot boiler, always use the heat-proof funnel supply, as other tools may adhere to the inner thread of the appliance. Always open slowly. On the left of the upper front face here, you will see three on-off switches. The first button on the far left side is the main power switch, which you turn on by pressing the lower half of the switch. The LED light should now be on. You are now heating the boiler. The green steam light will light when the boiler is at the correct temperature and pressure to give you optimum cleaning power. This light will go on and off as you use the appliance and this indicates the boiler is maintaining the heat and pressure and is normal. The second orange light above the steam light is the water out indicator. This will light when the boiler is out of water. Once the appliance is at operational temperature and pressure, you are ready for some serious and healthy cleaning. However, before we progress, it is important to understand the difference between the various accessories. The large heads for general cleaning and windows are your maintenance accessories for regular cleaning of light soiling. They are not powerful enough due to the wide dispersion of steam for stain removal. Stain removal is achieved by concentrated steam pressure. The most intense pressure is achieved with the single aperture nozzle. You then move to the medium triangular head for medium soiling and cleaning then your large heads for maintenance cleaning. Once you grasp this principle of steam cleaning, you will find the various uses much easier to understand and you will be able to adapt your cleaning to virtually any situation. Now let's get your home cleaned and sanitised the natural way. The main hose or flexible tube fits into the socket at the front of the unit. Make sure you hear an audible click as you fit the hose to ensure proper connection. It is important to treat this hose with some respect. It should not be used to drag the machine around, nor should it be jerked or twisted excessively. The accessories can fit directly to the main hose nozzle or to one or both of the extension tubes depending on the task at hand. Turn on the second or middle switch on the SC4000 to power the hose and accessories. You can adjust the steam pressure by turning the pressure knob clockwise. Our most common cleaning task is the floor, so let's start with grout on tiled floors. To the main hose handle we fit our extension tubes. Push each tube on so the press button locking device is in the correct position. We now attach the single aperture nozzle and the small nylon brush. The SC4000 has two switches on the main hose handle. The left button is an on-off switch for steam production, 
whilst the right hand button is a hold down button for the additional hot water blast. To operate the hot water blast, the third or right hand button on the front fascia of the SC4000 must be on. So we now press on the button for steam and allow the nylon brush to move slowly over the grout line, touching the surface under hand pressure. You don't need to apply heavy pressure. Remember, if the stain is a bit stubborn, just dwell on it for longer. Grout cleaned, you now attach the large head or rectangular brush to our extensions, and to this we attach a double layer of toweling or microfiber cloth, using the alligator clips on the head. Be aware that some residual steam may escape after switching off the button, so always take your time changing accessories to ensure you avoid scalding. Working backwards, move at a steady pace to allow the steam to clean and sanitise. You will note that because we are only using a low moisture steam application, the tiles will dry very quickly. How easy is that? The SC4000 has a slide on carpet attachment to allow you to steam carpetal areas, beards and so on, to eradicate dust mites, beard bugs etc. To remove spot stains from carpet, we fit the single aperture steam nozzle directly onto the main handle. Remember this is our most intense cleaning tool. We adjust the steam pressure to a low setting as high pressure is not needed and can unravel some carpet fibres. Aim the nozzle across the stain, placing a cloth behind the stain to catch the dirt and blast the dirt off the pile and onto the cloth. Never aim the nozzle down at the stain as you are just pushing the dirt deeper into the carpet. Certain stains that actually change or dye the colour of the pile, or really tough stains that resist the steam, may be pre-treated with specific stain removers to assist with the cleaning. OK, now we want to clean our stainless steel hoods, our cupboard doors, our bench tops, or maybe our fridge exterior. Attach the main head directly to the main hose handle. If you need to reach high spots, you can use one or two extension tubes. To this we attach a double layer of cleaning cloth, either toweling or microfiber ensuring it is clean and free from grease. Even new cloths need to be washed before use to eliminate any residual grease or oil from manufacture. Switch on the steam button and rub the head over the area to be cleaned. You will see the dirt and grease transferred to the cloth. When the cloth becomes soiled, replace with a clean one and continue to clean. How often you swap the cloth really depends on the amount of dirt on the surface you are cleaning. With stainless steel, it is a good idea to give a final wipe over with a separate very clean cloth as even tiny marks show on this surface. The cloths can be washed and reused. This method can also be used for cleaning delicate materials on furniture, but always make sure you test these materials with steam in an unsighted area and allow to dry before proceeding to ensure colour fastness. Velveteen and microfiber materials don't respond well to direct steam application and you must always use a cloth and low level of steam when cleaning. The ability to clean without streaking also makes steam the cleaner of choice for another major cleaning task, windows and glass. We attach our large window cleaner directly to the main hose head. Keeping the window cleaner as flat as possible against the glass, we steam whilst pulling the rubber squeegee down the glass. Any build-up may be scrubbed with the squeegee, but keep in mind stains like paint splatter etc. need to be removed with a small single aperture nozzle. You then reverse the window cleaner and wipe away the residue with the second rubber squidgy. It pays to carry a chamois while you do the glass to wipe any small drips that may escape. Always start at the top and pull down vertically to the point where the head comes away from the surface, then on to the end of the glass. Come back and clean the lower section by moving horizontally across the glass. As with any surface, if there is a build-up of old chemical cleaners or heavy soiling, swap to the smaller nozzle or use a cloth cover over the window cleaning attachment and give the surface an intense clean prior to using the window cleaning head. This will ensure streak free cleaning. Three areas that are definitely not receptive to steam cleaning are vertical blinds due to the use of plastics in the material itself. Wire reinforced glass due to expansion of the wire from heat and possible glass cracks and nylon pressed prefabricated cupboards as the heat causes a breakdown of the glue and lifting of the rack. Always avoid these areas. Wooden surfaces, leather, and surfaces that are painted with water-based paints all need protection from direct steam and can only be cleaned with a lower steam pressure and through a double layer of soft cleaning cloth. After cleaning leather, you must immediately treat the leather with a conditioner to avoid drying and cracking. When we look to maintenance cleaning of the bathroom, we treat the floors as already discussed. We use the window cleaner for our shower screens and the large brush for the tiled wall. 